Hello again guys, quick video for you today. I got a notification earlier that OnePlus has officially released Oxygen OS version 3.0 beta for the OnePlus 2. I was gonna go through the whole setup process for this, but it's really painfully simple. Basically go to their site and get the file, you copy it over to your OnePlus 2, you reboot into recovery mode by turning your device off, holding the volume down and the power button at the same time until you get into recovery, and then flashing it. According to the support page, they do support dirty flashing, but you have to be on Oxygen OS 2.2 or higher. If you're doing any other recovery or anything else, you're supposed to do a factory reset first and make sure that you're on the Oxygen OS official recovery, but there are supposedly ways to do it with twerp and with clockwork mods, so if that's your thing, by all means. They also say that it's not guaranteed to work with rooted devices. More to the point, you're probably gonna lose root if you do this update. And this is not an official build, this is a community supported build, meaning that it's beta, it's not 100% ready yet, but as soon as the official build is ready, this is OTA compatible such that it will be rolling up to full version three when it's out. Now I did go ahead and do the update on my device and you can see here it is running. We'll go ahead and take a look at the build number and everything, just make sure it's all right. So there you can see Android version 6.0.1, Android security patch level April 1st, so they're apparently from the future, Oxygen OS version 3. There's your kernel version information, 3.10.84. And as you can tell, this is just pretty much stock flat marshmallow settings menu stuff. They do mention having a new OnePlus camera, which I would assume is this camera. It looks an awful lot like the Google camera. But if you come in and look at the about screen, it says current version 1.4.0. You have the option to save raw images. You can save your location information. Of course, you can do time lapses, slow motion, photo, video, manual mode, as well as panoramas. And in your video mode, you have 1080p, 720p, and 4K as you would expect. Software update isn't gonna change the hardware. On the front facing camera, you've still got 1080p and 720p as options as well. Although I tested out the 1080p and again, it's still just not terribly great. There you can see me and even in good lighting, it's just not very good. Now they say there's a new launcher setting to support wallpaper picker. So when you hold on a home screen, you've got wallpapers here. I don't believe this is anything new, but they say that it is, so there you go. There's a shelf upgrade, but it doesn't look hugely different to me. This is sort of how it looked for me. I added one widget to it. You add it by clicking the plus button. There's frequent contacts or widget, and widget you can come through and just pick from all the widgets on your device. And other than that, the grand majority of it seems to be just performance improvements and the fact that it is running Marshmallow. It says the fingerprint performance is improved, system performance is improved. I haven't had a huge amount of time to actually test the system performance to see how much it's improved, but the little bit of time I spent with it before doing the update, it did feel quite a bit sluggish. And now that I've done the update, of course it's a little bit more fresh, it's running a newer OS, that might have helped a little bit, but it does appear to feel at least a little bit faster. But they do also have some known issues with this version. The first and foremost is, if you do have fingerprints registered, you're gonna have to rescan them, meaning you're gonna have to go into your settings, go into your security and fingerprint section, and go into fingerprints, and then rescan your fingerprints. It completely reset all of that. It says the max audio tuner and presets have been removed, and you know, it's not in here, so I can't exactly show that it's not in here, other than just going to the M's and there's no max audio. It says if you try to roll back to a previous version of Oxygen OS, it's not not gonna work without wiping out your data, so do keep that in mind. Some people are supposedly experiencing some issues with Wi-Fi speed. There may be issues rearranging your quick settings, so let's see if we can do that real quick. Well, it definitely is having a bit of issue. It's getting confused. Yeah, there's definitely some weird quirkiness to that, and they have not completed the language localization. So, if you do have the OnePlus 2, make sure to go ahead and check out the update, but again, it may not be 100% daily driver ready. I did mention some of the known issues, and there are possibly more issues than that. So just be on the lookout for it. If you are running 2.2 or 2.2.1, I'm sure it'll be hitting your device in a relatively short amount of time. If you do choose to run the update again, once the final version is available, it will also get pushed to your device. If you're running anything other than Oxygen OS 2.2.0 or higher, you're probably gonna have to do a reset before you can flash this. And that's gonna be all for me for today. I'll spend some more time with this over time. I still haven't done a full review of this because I was waiting for Marshmallow. So if you're interested in seeing the full review, definitely let me know down in the comments. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to receive more videos when they become available. Hit the like button down below if you like this video, and we will see you again next time.